Right, today I'm be gonna begin with one question which might sound vaguely awkward and may also make your head do that thing where you don't mean to but you accidentally put a song in someone's head and then it sticks with them all day and if I do, I am so sorry. Today, we're gonna talk about love. Because there's been quite enough hatred and quite enough anger. And I'm also going to be taking the love language quiz. And keep in mind that this tends to go towards romance, but and I'm not entirely sure if it's actually creditable, but it seems like it could be an interesting look. So let's see. If I take the love language quiz and find your love language, from d this was, of course, um, a phrase that was coined by a Dr. Gary Chapman. Okay, so we're gonna begin. I feel loved when, A, I get a loving hug or embrace from someone I care about. It depends on the person. Also, you know, uh, you know, the, the climate around this. But, uh, it depends on the person. B, people want to spend time with me. C, people say nice things about me. D, people do things to help me. Once again, um, it depends on the help being offered. Uh, and I have spent a lot of time trying to learn um, to accept help when necessary and that I don't always have to go it alone. I don't always have to be stubborn, but sometimes it's a bit difficult. But go off, sis. Go off. Um, e. People show me that they're thinking about me by getting me a small present. I, I tend to turn pink and get a bit embarrassed. Um, it's always very difficult for me to accept, but I mean, it, it's nice sometimes, so I'm gonna grab my answer. When you are celebrating your birthday, which of the following sounds best to you? A. No one needs to buy me anything. I just want to spend time with the people I care about. B. A birthday gift especially picked out for me. Um. C. I want everyone in my life to write me a birthday card. I mean, I, I, I love handwritten letters, but I mean, okay. Um, D, I want someone to do all of my chores and errands for the week. That, that, that not being able to accept help thing, which I am, it's on my list and it's something that I'm learning know who I can trust who I can feel comfortable saying the words hey listen um something isn't right I need something can you help me with and then stating exactly what I need help with outright e a nice shoulder massage and big hugs from everyone I love Meep. I mean, hugs hugs are lovely, um, and there are people in this world that, you know, I want to put my arms around and tell, ever, tell but I guess, you know, we might have to settle for a elbow bump. You're loved. Thank goodness for, um, so, all right, I'll pick my answer. My ideal day. A, going shopping. 
Why am I reminded of that Eddie Murphy women be shopping uh, thing? B. Spending leisurely time with friends and family. Uh, sure. Uh, I love you all and let's have a chalky. Uh, C. Having a long, deep conversation with someone I care about. D. Getting a massage. E. Getting things done or doing a special project. I show that I appreciate someone by A. Buying someone a token of appreciation. I um, had people in my life that didn't understand it when I would try to, I don't know, I would buy a coffee just because, you know, hey, I love you, I'll, I'll get the coffees. I'll, you know, just as a matter of course and thought that I wanted to buy people so I got a little bit squiffy about that. Like, there's a better way. You know, it doesn't have to involve physical things and the idea of buying people just didn't sit well with me. B, doing something nice for them. Kind of, uh, I mean, I love it. I do know that sometimes people can misunderstand, so. C, giving them a high five. A fist bump or a hug. It depends on the person. D. Saying nice things to them. E. Spending the afternoon with them. When I have a bad day, the thing that would help me most is A. Having someone make me dinner. It's lovely. Um, I just have to um, teach myself when a person is actually caring and when a person wants something and I'm still working on teaching myself that. The last 17 years I've had a few um, battles that I've had to pick. Uh, choose, I guess you'd say. A few battles that I'd have to choose because I had to t teach myself to stand up for myself and sometimes people can be a bit dickish especially when it's a neurological illness because hello a brain's involved ergo you must be stupid so um yeah uh accepting help to me sometimes reads the wrong way although i appreciate it and some people really do love and really do care and so they do help and i've learned that too so uh Treating myself to that special item I've been wanting. C. Commiserating and talking it out with someone with through with someone I trust. D. A big hug. E. Spending time with loved ones or friends. In some cases, those loved ones are friends or started out as friends and just became sort of siblings of the heart, so to speak. We don't know how it happened, but it became more of a family thing. And apparently, my love language is quality time. Uh, I guess... So that's it. Um, if you and I will pop a link into the descriptions that you can take this quiz. I think I'm going to uh, pop in a few quizzes so that people can just entertain themselves. Uh, it's it's just a and um, because hey, we need all the entertainment we can get. So anyway, um, 
however you love, however you work, even if it's sometimes it takes you time or trusting people is a bit iffy at the second or if you're worried because, you know, hello, plague. I mean, it's gotten to the point where I actually literally uh, had a pizza guy come to my door dressed as a plague doctor and it didn't seem weird to me. But anyway, um, And, yeah, it didn't really seem odd to me. It was like, oh, yeah. Um, so I've had to, but I guess for now it's um, maybe take the time that we are in quarantine again and things are closed down and it's a whole different world than the one we're used to and work on confidence and I've grown enough that I can tell you who I, I, there are people I trust implicitly. There are people who I know have my back and other body parts if necessary. And there are a bunch of other things. So that's great. And in the meantime, I have a fun little quiz for you. You don't actually have to have it sent to your email. I didn't. I didn't even give them my email, so. And you can call yourself Fussy McFussy Pants in, as a name if you really want. Fussy is going to have a lot of love languages. So anyway, um, there's a silly quiz. Take good care. You are loved and hope. Keep up the hope.